go on I would like to speak about uh, phase and graphical representation of the phase uh, when you have a ray of light and uh, you get uh, there is something on its way like a piece of glass or something it goes through it and then continues compared to a simple ray of light that doesn't go through the piece of glass uh, the first sorry a and B. The first ray of light has uh, picked up some phase and this phase is uh, described in terms of the of the angle. So essentially when you have waves that are in sync, as I told, you can represent each of them. I will use different colors now. You can represent each of them as a vector on the just on a unit circle one vector and the other like this is unit circle here's zero degrees 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees. Simultaneously I'll write the same notation not in degrees but in radians. Pi over 2 is 90 degrees. Pi is 180 and 3 pi over 2 is uh, 270 degrees. Now when waves are in sync means they are both facing in the same direction. Let's say they face both uh, in this direction of zero degrees. Now if the first wave, let's say wave A is blue, wave A is blue and B is red, now the first phase has picked up some phase, the first wave has picked up some phase. How does it look like? Well it might look that the wave, the blue wave, now is facing in such a way. Blue is doing something like this. It's uh, anti-red wave. How would it look like on the graph? Think about it for a second. Pause the video. Okay it would look like pi rotation the waves are absolutely opposite to each other if the waves are displaced in some other way now it will be difficult for me to draw but let's try it will be something like this I'll try to draw on top of the blue one Something like this. I try to draw. You, it's not that the wave is thinner, it's just that it's displaced not by a much. Basically what I want to draw is displacement by pi over 2. It's, it's a displacement, but not a big one. Like, you move the wave a little bit to the right, but not until the end, so that if they don't coincide, they don't fully coincide, the lowest place doesn't coincide with the lowest place of the blue wave, it coincides with the midpoint of the blue wave. Yeah, that's pi over 2 rotation. But the main idea is that you can represent the shift between the waves in terms of uh, rotation of the vector in the unit plane. And it's uh, easy to use such a notation to show how the waves pick up phase. So we will, uh, in the next video, we will look how our Max Zender interferometer makes the waves and light pick up phase and changes their phase depending on the path they take.